All right, welcome back to Final Phase 2 of International, the English Pass made by FF Griver. Okay, this is where we left off. Well, not really. Uh, the Magisters have YouTube have come to a verdict. Uh, as you saw in my last episode, I completely overdid it. I overleveled like crazy. Uh, my main parts are level 50 and level 40. Um, I haven't used a boss. I mean, um, Bothy and Vaughn a lot, so I, I'm just really not supposed to be this strong at this point in the game. I have like uber weapons and stuff like that. You know, black robes, uh, Maximilian, platinum helmet, save the queen, you know, stuff like this, dragon shield, you know, uh, white mask, stuff like that. Uh, Vaughn has a stronger weapon, but um, he has the platinum deck, but I'm not supposed to have that, so I use the chopper instead. And I haven't used Bothiv on, only to steal and poach stuff like that, so. Uh, this this is where I'm like supposed to be, where actually, I think like level 20. Just little little tiny way where you would normally be at this point in the game, right? Uh, you won't be at this level to like the Feywood and stuff, and you'll be at this level by the time you get to the end of the game. So okay, uh, I'm gonna use a Vaughn and, and a Bothir for a while. I use a Panella one when I really need to heal. Uh, as the um, I'm probably gonna use Fran because you are gonna need like something to hit flyers, you know, flying enemies and stuff like that. Uh, Bosh if things get ugly. Uh, Ash, if um, if I'm really pissed off and um, if if I need to show you something for like power walkthrough and so on and so forth, all right. But you guys will get the point later on, all right. So let's continue. We are in the Giza Plains, the range now, but there's there's really not much difference. Uh, the only difference is uh, you can go to like to three new areas, all right. But none of, none of that is really important right now, so we aren't gonna worry about that right now, all right. We're still a little too strong for these guys, but but most of us get this strong in a way because just about everybody does the um does the um the dustier living up trick. Pretty much everybody does that. So m most people will be at, at like level twenty at this point in a way. So I guess this is a uh, legit for now. All right. But for those of you who are just joining me. Uh, this is a uh, Final Fantasy 12 International, the English version. Um, it's very, very easy to over level early on because um, you're locked to one job, but that job is performed extremely well. All right, and it's very easy to over level at the beginning of the game. These little withered trees right here, uh, they're really not important right now because they aren't going to be important until I uh, accept a certain hunt. But the thing is, uh, you can only uh, knock these down um, during the rains, I believe. And at that leaf here, I'm not going to come back for a very long time. So it might be. A good, uh, I think um, someone posted that that the um, that the game time changes the um, the rains in the day in the Giza Plains. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. It's best to just go ahead and uh, knock down all these trees while you're here. Because that hunt is very, very important and bought this level 25 now. Okay, so. Wine. Ooh, nice. I, I need. Ooh, ooh, okay. I need those. All right. So there's uh, there's some wine right there. Actually, I don't need it because I have arm guard. But I haven't found a shop at, at this point in the game where, um, where I could buy these as many times as I want. Unfortunately. Since Berserk is my favorite status effect. Um, so I guess in, in this version. Since a uh, church just spawned one screen away, all you gotta do is just uh, come on, load the game, please. Load the game! Thank you. Just go. Oh no, that! Okay. Uh, it's not here. This. Oh, there it is. Let me see. What we got? Okay. Not bad. Okay, so that's a good. That's a good place to get wine at, at this point in the game. This. Uh. uh this. Uh, where is it? That's right. I already had a few. Uh, this wine here, uh, everyone knows what that does it puts you in berserk, but it's much, much better in this version simply because it never misses. In the English version, this misses very often and it's very annoying. However, in in the international version, it it will never miss. Okay. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, situations like this. This is one of the uh one of the um one of the um the elemental um, fiends that that you fight throughout the game. 
uh, I'm not strong enough to fight him right now. But, well, actually, v Vine and Balthier are not strong enough to fight him. But Ash and Penelope can handle it with ease, especially since uh, it uses nothing but electric attacks. Uh, let me just use my Uber team to show what I'm talking about here. I can put on the Diamond Armor because it makes you immune to electric attacks in this, in this version. And Ash is over level, so I can, I can take it on with ease. All I gotta do is just sit here. Well, Ash doesn't. I mean, I, I don't even have to. I, I can put the controller down. But see, the the English version, um, the Diamond Armor, doesn't make you immune to electric attack. So, but I could I, I could put the controller down, and just sit here and watch them have fun right here. Really. Okay, even though I was put to sleep, I can still just sit here and wait for and wait for um for Penelope to wake up. Let me speed it up. When she wakes up, she picks up Ash, and the onslaught continues. That's just for this one. The other ones aren't gonna be aren't gonna necessarily be that easy. Cause um cause my healer can't absorb their absorb their magic yet. But basically uh. If you could be one, you could be all of them because they're all pretty much the same thing except they use different elements. But other than that, there's no difference between any of them. So if you could be one of them, you could be all of them. All right. But as you see, Ash and Penella are indeed overloaded for this point of the game. Stone Crystal. Ah, that's it. Okay. Which is why, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave them out of these these uh, fights for a while. Okay. For God purposes. Okay. Uh, unless I'm, uh, unless I'm, I, I come across like a really strong monster, like a red monster that I, that I wouldn't be, that I wouldn't normally be strong to beat. Then I, I bring in, I bring in the big girls and take them out. But for now, we're gonna stick to Vaughn and Balthier since they are under level. Well, they're not under level; they're at the level they're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, I'll probably do this, um, this wine uh, farming later. But not right now. But for, for those of you who, who like Berserk, once I do, uh, I guess that that's a good way to get you know wind this point in the game. And remember that this is only f this is mostly for the for the um, international version, All right? Because pretty much every church has has been changed in the international version. If there's a really important church chest for those you for those you play the English version, I'll I I note it as long as I don't forget about it Ooh, either. Nice, okay, either, okay. Uh, once again, those you play the English version, uh, um, I will note. If there's like a really important treasure for, that you guys know might want to you know farm something like that, All right? Once again, uh, I'm not gonna be here long. Oh, Green Bear, I'm not gonna be here long because there isn't much a uh, difference in. Uh, oh, I don't need that. There isn't much a uh, difference between the rains and the day, except the monsters are slightly stronger, and there are new paths you can take. Let me just go ahead and uh, knock this down. Uh, a red monster called Rain Dancer pops up every now and then. It's a souped up version of these uh, fish right here. Uh, I, I showed you one on the last episode, alright? So, it's, it's, it, it's not that tough. But note that he, that the Rain Dancer is friends with these guys, so they're all family. Remember, uh, so, some monsters, if you attack one, you gotta attack them all. So, if you attack one, then you're gonna have to fight the other, the, the other two, alright? And by the way, uh, I know that I already went to the Ozma Plains, but I, I never actually did a LP of it because I was so overloaded that there's no point. But once again, this is for God purposes, okay? 
uh, I usually always uh, always um, keep a white mage with me, active. But I told you uh, she's over leveled. But you know what? My white mage uh, doesn't attack anyway. In uh, this version, your white mages aren't gonna attack that much because um, you know they're dedicated just to um, just to white magic early on. But she'll be attacked later on. And uh, since this is the incident, since since most English players, since some people do get the Zodiac Spear early on, I'm gonna use um, bravery on Vaughn and um, Balthier. All right, I got this in the ship. So uh, normally, uh, if, if I play English version, I would have the uh, the, the, the Zodiac Spear. So for the incident version, we're, we're we're gonna trade that for bravery, all right? And I just have her keep herself in faith. But Penelope's only gonna you know just heal us. You know, because we all use white mages, but she, she's going to do an attacking, all right? Those who play an English version, you aren't going to get brave until you do, like, a lot of hunts, and you're going to have to buy it from the, um, from the clan shop, all right? But it's not a hard game. It, it, it's not a hard game, regardless whether you're overleveled or unleveled. It's, it's really, it's, it's not a hard game. There are only a there are only a, a handful of hard fights in, in this game, and and most of them are side quests. None of the none of the main the 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 main game. None of it is hard, really. None of it is it's it's just it's not hard. There we go. Uh, what's up with these frogs coming out of nowhere, man? Jesus. See, she's just she's just gonna like you know keep us in bravery and stuff like that, and, and heal us when we get when we need it and stuff like that. But that's all. That's all the white mage is really supposed to do in in, in this game. Later on, when she gets the the holy rod, she can attack stuff like that. So, uh, why do I keep missing that turn? All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the island plane where it's supposed to be. All right. All right. Now let's finally continue with the main story. Now there are some very annoying uh, flying mus here. Those birds up there. And uh, for that reason, I'm gonna have to bring in. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring in Fran. Now, I'm just not learning this because, um, let me just have them still. Let me get Fran in so I can take care of this fine mother. She's over level 2, but but black mages can can kill these guys one hit at the point anyway, so it really doesn't matter, right? Alright. Oh, you hit the bunny too, naughty girl. Okay, uh, Emma's saying I'm just not learning this, but I don't know if that's how it was in, in the English version. But in this version, monks can hit flying enemies with their pose. I didn't know that because uh, um, I didn't use monks until my um, uh, until my uh, my second run through this game, and um, I had to I had to um, had the sign grab bow by then. So there's really no point in using any other weapon if you can get the sign grand bow. But for those of you who for some reason still can't get that thing, um, Musk can hit flying enemies with the pose and, that, and that's very helpful, alright? Uh ah damn I can't switch, okay. Well they can hurt me anyway, so let's just get out of here. So basically just use a uh, magic or um, or or bows. Or, or um, pose hit those guys. I don't have a monk and I don't have an archer, unfortunately. I, I use black. I, I use um, black mages to hit flying foes. And Fran makes an awesome black mage. Trust me. All right. So where to now? Let's see what we got here. Straight ahead. All right. There we go. All right, let's continue. Yeah, 
Yeah, none, I told you, none of these, none of these, these, these monster hard. You will always be strong enough to take on whatever you're fighting for that point in the game. As long, as long as you battle, like actually, I, actually, no, I told you, levels, levels, really, really, leveling up is like only 20% of your development. Most of your development comes from the license board. All right. But once again, in, in the international version, they 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 get these things really, really fast. All right. All right. So I think there's a few uh, re really good church chests here in the, uh, in the in the English version. I know one is a um, one's a Gladius. It, it's a dagger with the attack power 40, I believe, and, it, and it's a wind element, which is pretty good because there are a lot of monsters who don't like wind attacks. Uh, no, if you want to, uh, you can go to the, um, to the, Z um, Zentarian Caves here. Uh, I'm strong enough to, to, to go down there. Actually, I'm strong enough to beat Vayne right now if I wanted to. But, the Zentarian Caves is down there, so if you want to go down there, you can. But, if you're at this level, where, where Vaughn and Bot is, you aren't, you aren't, you aren't gonna be alive much, you aren't gonna be alive for long, alright? Where am I going? Okay, that way. But we will deal with that later. I still haven't got the east, got the east, the east bit down there, but I'll do that later on. There we go. Uh, sometime a rare monster shows up. I forgot what it's called. It replaces this um this monster right here. It, it it'll be a rare monster. It's not that tough though. All right, go needle. What we got? Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll do that since Pinel is overloaded. I think I'll just have um, them use high potions to heal us, and they can restore some feeling down in case the worst happens. But ooh, nice. Uh, for some odd reason, um, actually for some good reason, um, daggers, ninja swords, and and and, mess and um and katanas they combo much more often than they did in the uh, in the English version. All right. Normally, uh, only um, only the Mesimune and the and the Yagu Dark Blade and the Tonsil will combo a lot, but a, a lot of weapons uh, combo a lot now, so that's that's very good. Uh, I'm not going the right way, am I? No, I'm not. Uh, let me just go ahead and kill a couple of these uh, owls so you can see what they what they're capable of. But but once again, it, you shouldn't. You should not find yourself uh, under leveled in this game, unless you're doing side quests, cause, cause the main game is is just so easy, it's just ridiculous. But the side quests are not easy, unless unless you leveled up. All right. Alright, so this is the way we want to go down here. Alright. Okay, in this area right here. Uh I've been playing this game since it came out and I've only gotten the level 99 chocobo one time. Uh very good muscle cause uh I think you can I think it drops a ribbon, it drops a gym steel. And Pierce Soul too. I think you can steal and Pierce Soul from it too, and Josh Harkin or something like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works, but you can get a lot. You can get a lot of good stuff from it. Uh, English version. I think you can get a um, a, a Gladius around here. I told you it's a it's a it's a wind dagger with over with over 40 attack power. Okay. Uh, the the level nine I bow is not easy unless you got that shield or stuff like that or reverse because it can it can wipe you out really quickly. It's a one out of 256 chance to spawn, I believe. But there's supposed to be methods that speed it up. I never tried it. I, I never tried them before. So these regular chocobos here. 
I mean, why are we fighting chocobos? When, uh, I haven't played Final Fantasy in a while. When was the last time we had to fight chocobos? That's, that's just not cool, man. Ow! He just pecking me to death there. Okay. They dropped Guess the Green, so you might want to note that. Might want to, you know, fight them over again. Once again, if you have uh, 33 of those greens and 15 Arcana, if you happen to get 15 Arcana at this point in the game, you can make Herm Sandals. Uh, you might get it if you um, farm uh, Dusty a lot at this point in the game. Die! Yeah, I I'll just heal with her high potions for now. I I'll leave Penelope out this for a while since she is over leveled, alright? Uh, when it's cloudy, uh, there'll be like a wind, a uh, big wind element here. And the good thing about that one is, um, you can chain it very easily, alright? See, another, another, another combo, see? Alright. Uh, this guy's one of your allies here, but you can kill him if you want to, but we're not gonna do that, alright? But that's actually nothing, nothing hard about this game, so e even though my other kills I leveled up, I still would've had no trouble here, alright? And uh, let me just show you how strong uh, Ash is for those of you who who, who want to see what how much she does at, at this point in the game. It's over nine thousand. All right, back to fair play. Okay. So yeah, she uh, she can beat Vane by herself right now at, at these levels. Okay. And for that reason, I'm gonna leave her out of this. Another either? Alright. I think you have to like keep killing keep killing these uh these chocobos and, and keep coming back and eventually you'll spawn the, the level 99 chocobo. I told you I've only done it once. And it dropped like all kind of good stuff when I killed it, so okay. Those are just back doors for those of you who really need need gem steals and imperial soul and ribbons and stuff like that. I don't know. All right, uh, this episode is going to be too much longer. Sorry we didn't get much done, but it's all good. I'm probably going to be uh, nothing here but a bunch of long cutscenes. So I'm, uh, after these cutscenes, I'm probably going to just go ahead and end the episode. All right. The, 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 this is like a 10 or 15 minute cutscene here. Land of the Jareff. Uh, a lot of important things here, right? Let me just uh, activate, activate, activate this uh, crystal here, alright? You can buy a map right here. Yes, I want to buy a map. I don't need it, but... I'll go ahead and buy it. Koopa Koopa Koopa! And buy one here too. Alright, let's talk to these guys and see if we can get through them. Now, I mean, they're just standing there right here, but there's a lot of space right here. See that? What? What? Look at that. What? What? Sis, what? What's stopping me? Come on, look at that. Look at that. What, what's stopping me? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Alright. Basically, he's trying to get in, but they don't allow humans to come here because of all the suspicious activity. And this guy's like, they're, they're noble warriors. We can trust them. All right. The responsibility will be mine. What business do you have here? Okay. Let them pass. The responsibility will be mine. Okay. They don't trust the humans because of, because of the Empire. You know, the Empire's going crazy. So right now, they're, they're being really cautious, of course. He's like, I seen them fight, there are no wars, you can let them through, so on and so forth. Let's continue on. And now we're explaining why we're here. We want we want to learn how to use the nether site. I told you, since this this is gonna be a very, very, very long LP, I'm not gonna um commentate any of the lines unless it's a personal favorite. Alright. I think there's like what three or four hunts in, in this uh in, in this town. And most of them are very important. Okay. One of my favorite shops in the game, this one, because this is, normally this will be where I get, um, oh yeah. You know what? No, I, I think, 
I'll buy that in case I want. Nah, screw that. Screw that. I'm gonna ask. She's just way too overloaded, alright? She's just way too overloaded. Okay. Uh, katanas. Uh, there's a pose. Slasher. Man. There we go. Okay. This, here, we, here we go right here. Yes. Yes. The main Gashi. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, yes. This weapon is broken. Look at that. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you right now. In the English version, uh, this thing's evasion is, uh, 34. In the international version, it's evasion is 50. That's ridiculous. That, uh, that doesn't make any sense. How can that little dagger block attacks 50% of the time? That, that's just, that, that's overkill. Okay. Combine that with, um, combine with Demon Shield and you got 9, if you combine it with Demon Shield, you got 90% evasion. Look at that. Uh, for now we're gonna use the golden shield since that's what I'm supposed to have. I'm not supposed, to, but if I put that on, it's, it's, it's just it's just ridiculous. All right. All right, let's continue shopping. Uh, let's see. All right, the flame staff. Uh, I'm gonna use this for the rest of the game because it's the only staff that powers up fire attacks. All right. Uh, equip it. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and put that on for fan. All right. You can also buy a. Uh, oh, I can't buy it now. Okay, I guess you get it later on. I thought in the English version you could buy the flame staff, the storm staff, and the glitch staff here, but I guess I can't get it here. Hey, let's already got that. There's a bow for those of you using bows, a gun, a chopper, which I have now, and a healing rod. All right. Uh, let, me, let me look at that again. But those have some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, you got everything. Okay. Let's see. Let me uh, upgrade Vaughn a little bit. All right. Uh, mm, no, okay. Uh, all right, let me uh beef up. Uh, Brothel doesn't have the license for that yet. That's not cool. All right, I'll fix it later. I see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need one of these. All right. Actually, uh, yeah, one's enough. Cause I think I get another one. If not, I buy it. Okay. All right, so let me uh, level up uh, Balthier a little bit. See, this is what I'm talking about. The the licenses are so close to each other. This is what makes the the, the international version easier. Normally, there'll be like a um, like a weapon here and a weapon there and a weapon here, but here the everything's so close together. I've already activated the, the, the zodiac spear here. You got increase there, increase there, increase there, increase there. One here, one here, one here, one here. See, normally these would be spread out completely, but in this version they're all together. See, all, see all, all these hit points? They're all they're all together, and 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 there's more hit points here. All right? Uh, nah, I don't need all that. I just I just want him to put on that armor. Come on now, there we go. All right, that brings him up speed a little bit. All right, uh, you know what? I'll do the rest of off screen. All right, I'm not done yet. I'll do the rest off screen. Okay, um, Fire Eye, very nice. Stone Eye, can't use bleed. Don't point me buying it. What we got here? High potions, not bad. Echo Hurts, I'm just going to keep 99 of these, and I'm going to be using these a lot. All right, we got here Blazing Gloves, very strength and hit points full. Hmm, not bad. I think I get one. Okay, no, I don't need that. The garment raises magic super critical. Very good. Okay. Yes, I heard of monographs. Uh, different monographs. Uh, I'll explain how to how to activate all the monographs when I feel like activating them. All right. All right, we want to go around here. Go up this way. Talk to these guys and try to get through. Wait a minute. Oh no, no, no. We have to talk to that dude again. If I remember where he is. We gotta talk to a certain person before we can go back to mm. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got the one too. was, yeah. You got, yeah, yeah, you got to talk to him, I believe, or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I haven't played this thing in a long time, but I, I'm just talking to everybody. I'm, I, I forgot exactly who it is, but I'm, I'm talking to everybody just to make sure. 
you gotta talk to somebody again, then try to go up there and heal it, and they'll like, you know, try to let, let you through and stuff like that. I don't know, so. Oh, you gotta talk to him. Okay, he's, he's right here. Okay, I would like to. Okay, I'm sorry. Talk to him. Ash tries to pass. He's like, mm, you don't have proof of your heritage. He said, I trust you. Okay, stuff like that, right? Do you have proof of your heritage? I do not. Hmm. I looked into your eyes and see you speak the truth. You have my eyes. Look into your eyes and see you speak the truth, chum child. You have my trust. Okay. All right. So let's go. And uh, we just have to go in here and talk to the boss here. Uh, and another long cutscene will endure. All right. All right, just watch and enjoy. The Nethersite, you have used it. See, 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 even now her, her, her walk is just sexy. That, that, that's just ridiculous. This Nethersite, you have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraith will flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite cannot wield it. So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands the descendant of the dynast king himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst, a terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> Larsa? To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon? He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, 
Let us go to Bear Omasais. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Dalmasca. As Queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Dalmasca and stop Marquis Ondor. Uh, for peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethesite were used on Rabanaster? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw him. Didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How can he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different from Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then, I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just... I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find them. Okay, that's about as much as it's gonna get. They they got rid of uh, that little t tradition. Boy meets girl, girl finds love a boy, and they get together. Okay, they got rid of that. Von and Ash do not get together. All right. Uh, Vaughn belongs, Vaughn belongs to Pinello, okay? Okay. I will accompany you to Mount Boromises. I, I had hoped you'd say yes. I'm glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet, waiting on Bur Omises. Who is that? An enemy, and an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. That, that doesn't sound too trusting. He does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. Uh, Vaughn and Aspen talk all night, and Penelope's like, uh, I'm watching you, Vaughn. Holy Mount Boromi Sace stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yagd, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yagd Yenser, right up to Rathal's tomb. Skystone that works even in Yagd. You know, Nethersite's behind it. 
Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. <laughs> Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you. And you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man would do the same. Unfortunately, the story is very, very confusing. Okay. Lasa joins the party as a guest. He's back. Okay. Come on now. Thank you. I pressed the button. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be in this episode after that long cutscene. Sorry we didn't get too much done. But, uh, are we not done yet? Oh, that's right. Uh, something uh, determines what you get. Uh, he, he's going to give you a weapon here. You, usually it's a bow. Uh, I don't know. Let me see what we got here. Okay, kill a bow and onions. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think he'll give you a different weapon depending on something. I, I, I don't know what changes this, but sometimes he'll give you a different weapon. Alright. Kill a bow is pretty nice for this point in the game, but I don't, I don't have an archer, so I can't use it, unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to sell it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think at this point, you can activate a, a, a few more hunts, alright? But we're not going to do those right now, alright? We'll worry about that later on, okay? Alright, we're going to be in this.